Okay, I had to do this one uh, pretty much on the heels of the last one, so I don't forget where I what I've done. It's a lot of lines, so I hope you didn't have to go out and scream after this one. But um, perspective, it's kind of, it, you know the there's what is it? There's seven is it seven stages of grief or something like that where you you know there's the denial and acceptance and bargaining and all, all of that with uh, perspective. Uh, there is uh, swearing and there is screaming. There's crying, and there is throwing things around and breaking them. But it doesn't have an order for, it's different for different people, so I don't know. So, um, I don't know if you got to all those, what, those like five stages uh, yet or not. So let's finish this maybe. I don't know if we can do it on this one, but um, we'll, do our, we'll see how far we get. So that dot is that dot and let's put another piece of tracing paper over this top of this and see how far we get with drawing that ice cube let's do the easy stuff first i'm going to do this one this line because it just goes over to the left vanishing point and it's from that dot, and we just draw a line to the left vanishing point. And you can see that this line is above the, the measuring line, the horizontal measuring line. This, this dot is one unit above the, the plane that this measuring line is on, so that creates a little bit of a problem in that I cannot measure this with this measuring line when it's down one unit below. So. I am going to take the measuring line of, and there's also like so many different ways to approach this. So, right, there's so many different ways with everything in perspective to get different answers. So you might come up with something different that would still work. But I'm going to take this measuring line and project it up. It's already there. So that's why I did that. Now I have two units up here. This two units is on the same plane as this. And so I would take this and since it's two, just scoot it back like that. So I have two here, a real two on my measuring line, raised up and then scoot back and there's two. And here's my left measuring point. So this is just like two point perspective. And there's two. So yeah, if this, if you've watched all this two point perspective, videos then this should look familiar so now um, I think I'll do different colors for different things so let's whoops bump the camera with my head so let's do let's do this one this 40 degree angle so here is my 40 degree vanishing point and it's going to go like that angle. I think I'll do the back one too because it might be a little more clear to show off that shape. So this surface is now like that surface. And we need to make this also too. And we already have our measuring point here from a couple of videos ago, and it happens to be right in the same spot as our vertical vanishing point. So this is our vertical measuring, our, our right measuring point for this, for this right vanishing point, for this, for the incline. So this line that the measuring point is on is at an incline. I think I need to change colors again. The incline is like that, or I should just say not an incline, it's just like an angled line. So um, our measuring line we have to use needs to be parallel with this. So if I come over here, this line, the line that the left station point is on, 
is parallel with this one. I need to have a brand new angle for my measuring line because I, I can't use this one. It's not parallel with the line that this measuring point is on. So um, here's two. It is touching the corner of the cube. So I just need to take this. There's no perspective to this line, except that it's raised up and back in space. But this line doesn't go to a vanishing point. And you could take lines, like this line is parallel to the picture plane. So you can take it and turn it any angle you want. It's not going to get bigger or smaller. So what I would do with this is take this, take my compass that has a really dull point on it. So any line I make from the center here out to this, this radius, it's going to be two right from that corner. So this is the angle I need right here, that angle to measure this. So I'm just going to slide this over and make it the same angle as that. See, and if I bring this out, there. See, that is also two. This is two. Any line I draw from that center go at, going out like that will be two. So here's two. And here's my zero. It touches the line that I'm measuring. Here's my measuring point. I'm going to go through to and extend it out to hit that line. So that makes this two. This is going to go to the left vanishing point. Okay, the next step to the other side, there's a few little things involved with it. And I, I think I'm going to stop this one here. And um, then you could I, you could do what, screaming, crying, throwing, swearing. It's like, I don't know, it's up to you. I think, I think I'll just cry for a little bit.